fertility options have come a long way, baby. The first child conceived through in vitro fertilization was born in 1978. That milestone gave birth to a new age in conception. In the early days, the success rates were only about 14% per try. A new fertility option is freezing eggs in the hopes of conceiving a baby at a future time, something that gives hope to women with cancer or other health issues. There's a whole list of about seven or eight reasons why we would freeze eggs. Those patients potentially can have ovarian tissue removed and stored or eggs removed and frozen for future use. The procedure is considered experimental. And the American Society of Reproductive Medicine took the very unusual step to say if one is going to offer an egg freezing program, one has to work with an institutional review board. So Dr. Craig Sweet has started his own reproductive study. The first step is freezing eggs. Human eggs are the largest cell of the body and they have the most amount of water. And water, when you freeze, turns into ice. Ice crystals can destroy the cell. Freezing eggs calls for new techniques because they're more delicate than sperm or embryos. One aspect was to freeze the eggs very rapidly in a process called vitrification. So you essentially remove the, the water, almost desiccate, dry the eggs, and then freeze them very, very fast. The next step involves thawing the eggs without damaging them. And then the obvious success rates of implantation, pregnancy. Freezing eggs may also allow women to delay reproduction. In its testing phase, the process is already bearing fruit. As of 2010, uh, there were 936 children delivered uh, through egg freezing process. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.